Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Katie, and today I'm going to be doing a, a little quick video for one of my prompts for my yearly readathon. So I realized that this coming month, up in June, the prompt for my Read Around the Worldathon is for a a book that has been translated to other languages. And I realized that this one might be a really tough one, but not really. So um, the prompt is like to read a book that's been translated into a language that you want to learn. Not necessarily, you don't have to learn the language. If you learn hello or goodbye, that's great. Let me know if you did. But, um, but you know, if you if you like a certain country or whatever, just pick a book that's been translated either from that language or to that language and read it in English, of course, if you don't speak those languages. But yeah, so I did find about 15 books or so, um, Christian fiction books. And I do really want to thank the avid readers of Christian fiction group on Facebook. They pulled out all the stops. I want to thank you all for answering the question that I had. I shared a post on there last month saying, I need help. You know, if any of you have any books that are translated or know of any, so they came out and helped me out as well as uh, Goodreads. So Goodreads was amazing too. If you look up a certain author or book, just scroll down. I actually have to go to the desktop site. You cannot do this on the app, but go to the desktop site and down underneath the book, when you click on the book, it'll say different editions. Click on that. It'll say like 12 editions or something, but just click on view all and it'll show you all of the, uh, all of the book titles. And then it won't say the language, but if you click on the foreign language title, It'll go to that page and it'll it'll share in the information what language it is. So really great tip. So I have a bunch and I do own most of these and a few I actually haven't read. So I might end up reading one of these for myself. Okay, so I found out a couple of Tessa Afshar's books have been translated to a couple different languages. Um, they're probably the same languages throughout, but I tried to pick a different language for each of these books to give you a variety. So I didn't write every single language that it's printed in, but one for each. So I have three books from Tessa Afshar that have been, well, more of hers have been translated, but these are ones that I own. So Jewel of the Nile by Tessa Afshar. This has been translated to Slavic. So if you ever want to learn it, here you go. <laughs> okay, and then the next one, uh, In Field, of Grace by Tessa Afshar. This one has been translated to Slovenian. So I thought they were the same. No, there's two different languages. So there we go. And then Pearl in the Sand was translated to Croatian. So those are three different ones. And then I found out there's one called As Waters Gone By by Cynthia Ruchti. And that one is translated to Romanian. So that one's interesting. The, uh, then I found out that Laura France's series, the Ballantine Legacy series, was translated to French. So for those of you who always wanted to learn French, there you go. That one's a broad audience, I'm sure. And then this one was interesting. I really want to check out her books. And I think this one I might end up picking for June. So there's an author called Irma Joubert uh, from, I believe, from Africa. And her books have been written in Afrikaans first, then translated to English or whatever. So... The Girl from the Train, Child of the River, and A Crooked Path. And I think that's going to be mine because not necessarily like I don't necessarily want to learn Afrikaans, but like that language has always kind of like really um, drawn me. Like I love that culture and like some of my favorite books have been set in Africa. So I think that's what I'm going to choose. The next one, we have two books by Karen, by Carrie Taransky. We have Along Came Love by Carrie Taransky. That one was translated to South African, which I thought was cool. And then her other book, which just came out this year, uh, The Legacy of Longdale Manor. That one is um, translated into Dutch. So that one's really neat. And I just finished painting these edges re recently. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so I painted the bow from the front cover. I wish I had that like specific color, but it was still fun. Okay, then... The next one is called, there, there's, I think it's middle grade, I think. 
It's called The Age of Every When by A.S. Mackey, and that one's been translated to Russian, which I think was really cool. The next one is, I think, a lot of Karen Kingsbury's books. Um, I'm not going to mention a specific one, but I think a lot of hers have been translated into Spanish and or Portuguese, I believe. And then the next one, um, there's two books by the same author, Home of Our Hearts and Forever With You by Robin Jones Gunn. Those have both been translated to Portuguese, so that's really cool. Next one is Counterfeit Love by Crystal Cottle. This has been translated to German. And then the next one is Grace in Strange Disguise by Christine Dillon, and that one has been translated to Dutch. And then the last one, which I do have a copy of, is, which I just found this out by the author, and I think there was somebody else who commented too, but When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer has been translated to Polish. So I thought that was really cool. And if any of you speak Polish and live in the U.S., I don't know if she has copies anymore, but she was giving away four copies of her book on her Facebook group, so definitely check that out uh, if you want to. But yeah, so this one has been translated to Polish, which I thought was really cool. So those are really all the books that I have for a translation. I'm sure there is a bunch more. If there's a language that you, like, you really are really interested in, let me know down in the comments and I will try to find a book that's been translated into that language for you. But I hope this gives you ideas. As I said, Goodreads is a great tool. So as you know, a search engine, you can just search for books that are translated into a language and I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be able to find something. Hopefully. That was, that, that was the toughest prompt for the year was that one, but I think I gave you some good options, hopefully, and I hope you have a good time with that prompt this month. All right, so I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video.